Hello and welcome to a new host of our video. My name is Alex and today welcome to UI News Episode 3. So there's quite a few new software releases and new products that we're going to discuss. The last episode we did was about two months ago, um, so there's a lot of new things to discuss. First of all is Unify OS UDM 2.4.27. This is the very first version of Unify OS 2, so 2.x branch, for the UDM and the UDM Pro. This was released in uh, early February, so last month. This version will sort of bring bring the UDM and the UDM Pro in line with the UDM SE, the UDR, and the other Unify OS consoles, as well as the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus and the UNVR. Um, sort of bring the feature set up to date, more more consistent with what the UDM SE has been seeing recently. So the VPN features a lot a lot more stability as well with the with the OS. So it's good to see that Ubiquiti have been working hard on releasing this. There's some new versions that have been released to EA but obviously we can't discuss those just yet. So this is this is in GA, um, so general availability. Uh, it's available now and it should be available if you do the automatic OS updates. Um, so yeah, that's something to look forward to. Next thing is for the Unified Talk devices. So you've got the UTP Touch Max. Uh, there's a great video from Cody McCallum from Mac Telecom Networks that we'll link down below. Um, he went over how to configure everything. But what this essentially does is allows you to have remote phones away from your main building where the your Unify OS console is, where Unify Talk is hosted. And you can now use Teleport to remotely connect and use your phone with a remote Unify Talk application, which is really cool to see. Uh, removes the, the need to have Unify OS consoles in different locations. So that's, that's great to see. And then we move on to new products. So there are one, two, three, four, five new products. We've got the Cloudkey Stand. This is a very simple device. It was in EA for a little while. It's $19 in the US. It's also available in the UK and EU. It's out of stock at the moment, but this allows you to put the Cloudkey Gen Z Plus in an upright position. It should allow for better cooling because it does get quite hot. Um, also takes up less space. That's quite good to see. Uh, the next device is quite useful. It's the Wi-Fi Man Wizard. We had to have a more in-depth video coming on the Hostify channel soon, but this was, in it, again, in EA for a little while. Um, and it's a spectrum analyzer for Wi-Fi Man apps on iOS and Android. It's less of a necessity on Android because they've got the ability to scan 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Um, this allows you to have uh, remote scanning on iOS because there is some limitation with the Wi-Fi Man app and how it interacts with the iPhone. There's some limitations that Apple have put in place. Uh, it's a little remote, very similar to a MagSafe battery in, some, in that sort of size. It's got a battery built in, charges via USB-C and it can be connected via Bluetooth to the Wi-Fi Man app, allows you to spectrum scan. And there's a tweet from uh, Chris from Crosswalk Solutions where he um, had a reply from Ubiquiti on his YouTube video, and they said there is mapping coming soon, a lot more of the features, so we'll, we'll link that down below. There's also the UISP Switch Pro. So this, this will be, um, once it goes, once it's available, you'll be able to add this to the Hostify UISP applications. This is sort of a bigger version of the UISP switch. Uh, it's got 24 ports uh, and 16 of them have 27 volts passive PoE output. Uh, there's, let's make this bigger, there's four 10 gig SFP plus ports um, for uplinking and downlinking and then there's 220 watts of total PoE availability and then it supports two pair and four pair. Uh, this switch doesn't support 48 volts or any active PoE standards. Um, most of, well a lot of the, the WISP applications that Ubiquiti has and a lot of the products they have, all of them use 24 volts and 27 volts. The, it is compatible with 24 volts, but it allows you to have the longer cable runs and you should see less reboots. What it does mean is that these devices aren't compatible with the sort of the air fibers um, and the air fiber uh, 60 gigahertz devices, so just bear that in mind if you look to make that purchase. And there's two new cameras. There's the G5 Bullet, which was announced uh, about a month ago, uh, and the G5 Dome. Both of them are cheaper than, well, the G5 Bullet is cheaper than the G4 Bullet it replaces uh, by quite a bit, by $70. Uh, it's a better quality picture. Um, the build quality is now plastic, sort of going back to the G3 Bullet style, um, as opposed to metal. And then the G5 Dome is the same price as the G4 Dome, better quality sensor, improved uh, nighttime viewing. So. Okay, thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at hostify.com. 
You can contact the team at support at hostify.com and you can follow us on Twitter at hostify underscore net and we're also on Mastodon, link down below. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>